Hello guys, Melissa here. Welcome to your Melissa moments. Um, you guys, today has been a day. It has been a day. Like nothing went right for me today. <sighs> Frustrating. Um, I, I just, my hair probably still looks wet because I got a last minute phone call for work tonight. So it was like, hang on, I guess my lip. I hate when that happens. You know when you put lip gloss on and like everything, like every little hair or fiber goes on your lips? Anyway, sidetrack, sorry. So I had a last minute um, phone call for work. So I had to have a shower quickly and throw in a little bit of makeup. I didn't put my lashes on though. And you guys, I'm, I'm starting to feel naked without my lashes. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> anyway, that's fine. It's fine. It was, it's late at night. I didn't really want to have to go into work, but I did because got to pay the bills, right? And you got to get money to pay for all of these boxes that are sitting around me here. So um, we're going to do a couple unboxings. Um, I'll probably shoot two videos because they're two separate things. Um, but yeah, how are you guys doing? Are you guys doing all right? I feel like we should do a it's a little coffee time together when one of these times what do you think we just you know if I do a live or something maybe and we just chit chat about life and you know how you guys are doing and what you guys are doing and that kind of thing what do you think let me know if you want to do something like that let me know okay here we go um got a box from Amazon I'm hoping there's more than one thing in here it's a big box but it's light. Um, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what this is. <laughs> so my stepfather is turning 80 this month. That's a big one. <laughs> so my mother and I, sorry guys, this box is probably gonna be loud. Um, we decided we were going to throw him a surprise party. Now my stepfather is like me. He hates surprises. So I'm sure this is going to go horribly, but that's fine. Um, so because my mother and stepfather are literally always together, I mean always together, 99.9% um, .9 of the party, planning and organizing and preparing and gathering items falls on me, which is fine. I mean, that's fine. I was an event planner for years, so it's not like I don't know what I'm doing. It's just time consuming and frustrating. So, um, some party supplies I purchased on Amazon and that's what's in this box, I think. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. That's all that's in here. Okay. Because this is going to be guys, this is going to be depressing. Okay. Um, there's, that's not what I thought. Oh, that's not good at all. Okay. Oh, there's a few. Okay. Okay. First of all, this is not what I expected. Um, no, that's fine. Um, this, this might go back. I'm not happy with this. Um, this, I know for a fact, this cost me $11, uh, is what this cost me. And it was a, um, a cake topper. Okay. So he's turning 80. Uh, the cake, that's a whole other, that's a whole other situation. Um, but I wanted to get, uh, this really cute cake topper. It says 80 years young. It's super cute. It's gold. It's glittery. It's cute. I like it. The picture of it, like when I think of like a little, it's like, they call it cake topper, but it's a cake pick. You know, it's just on like a little wooden skewer and you stick it in the cake. Usually those are made of plastic, right? And they're really durable. That's what I was expecting. This is what I got. I mean, don't get me wrong. It looks beautiful, but you guys, it's not plastic. It's freaking paper. It's freaking paper. What? Why did my camera? You guys, my camera is doing something crazy and I don't know why. And I don't like it. What the hell is happening? Okay. That was fun. It's paper. This was $11. How is this even going to stand up without being floppy? Let's open it and see. Okay. 
yeah, it's paper. <sighs> Expectation versus reality, apparently. Like, what the hell? I'm just going to gently take it off. I'm probably going to end up sending it back. So I'm going to gently take it off here. You guys. I mean, don't get me wrong. It looks pretty, but. It's freaking paper. Like. They didn't even put gold on the other side. At least put gold on the other side. I mean, there's, look, there's, can you see, look at the glue, like, there's a little glue piece there, like, eleven dollars. I used to sell cake toppers, and my cake toppers I sold, they weren't cheap either. But they weren't made of freaking paper. I'm probably going to send this back. Because I'm disappointed. I literally could have made this myself. From the dollar store. Get a piece of gold sparkly paper. Cut out 80 years young. Stick it on a stick. And be done for two bucks. This was 11 I don't see $11 here. Like, don't get me wrong. It's pretty, but it's freaking paper. That's fine. Um, the company that made this is Sugar Plum Creations. Don't recommend. So let me just gently put this back because guess what, Sugar Plum Creations? This is coming back. Because I'm not happy. For $11? Come on. It's ridiculous. Okay. Let's shove it back in here gently. I was excited about that. I thought that cake topper. Cake topper. Cake topper. Cake, topper, cake pick. Birthday decor. I thought it would be good. Not so much. Let's see if the rest is going to be okay. Here's the next thing I bought. This is um, supposed to be 80, 80th birthday balloons. And I paid, I believe, $13 for these. So let's see. Okay. So they're black and gold, and it looks like some white or clear, possibly. You know what? I'm so, I can't stop thinking about that cake pick, you guys. Give me a second. We're going to bring this up. Now, to be fair, to be fair, I don't remember actually reading the description because I didn't think I'd have to on a cake topper. I just assumed it would be plastic. That might be on me. Um, it might be. Let's just see if... Um, let's just see what it says in the description. So, I mean, it says 80 years young cake topper. It has 24 reviews, four out of five stars on it. Let's see what it says. There's only six left. I'm sure she can print more. Um, okay. To be fair to the seller, she does have it in the description. That's on me as a consumer for not reading it. It does say it's made with gold glitter cardstock. On one side, it does say the other side's white. Okay. So to be fair, it's all in there. If I had read it properly, then I probably wouldn't have gotten it. Um, 3.8 out of five stars. Um, one person gave it three stars. 
just cardstock package and topper very flimsy and was folded so topper had to fold right in the middle had to play around with it so you couldn't tell topper did its job but not really worth the price for cardstock I would agree I mean even that she says it's cardstock that's good but eleven dollars like seriously I mean you could make this if you have one of those like fancy cutter machine things so she probably does in literally three seconds and you literally just take a wooden skewer and use hot glue eleven dollars material probably cost you two usually two to one is your ratio I could see five eleven you guys another one love this cake topper um, only thing to be aware of is that it's fragile on the lettering so only stick it in once the cake is in location see all these things two stars not stable would be better on thicker paper and better stick placement right one star not worth the money yeah yeah so I would agree not what I thought oh I was looking at balloons um, so now we're on balloons <laughs> Ah, this day, <laughs> you guys, this day, I cannot, I can't. Okay, this is what I ordered. Um, I ordered 80th birthday balloons, pack of 80 black gold birthday balloons, latex confetti balloons, and two ribbons. Um, so, and I paid $13.99. These were on Prime. So, I don't know if you can see. <laughs> so, that's what they look like. So, there are some kind of like white in there, gold ones, black ones. So, this is them. So, here's like, oh. Oh, interesting. These ones actually have confetti inside them. Do you see that? They're little confettis. This one fell out inside there oh interesting huh i've seen confetti balloons but i've never actually gotten any that's cool okay so we have those we have this one says 80 and fabulous which i'm sure my stepfather will really appreciate um this one says happy 80th birthday and I think that's it. And then they did include, which was nice, um, a couple little things of curling ribbon in gold. Um, I did buy curling ribbon in black and gold because I didn't know this came in here. Um, so I'll probably use this up first. And then if I don't have to dive into the black and gold curling ribbon, I'll probably take it back because I did buy that from Party City. So that's fine. Um, oh, there's another saying here. Um, this one says, oh my God, 80th on there. So there's a couple different ones, um, but that's pretty cool. Like I said, there's 80 in here. Are we going to blow up 80? Probably not. Um, I'm thinking, hmm, it's tricky because I bought a helium tank because I just did um, and obviously I mean I guess we could keep these in case my mom hits 80 my mom is how old is my mom my mom is 71 so she might hit 80 um, but I'm thinking my daughter's birthday and my birthday are coming up in October so I might keep these little white ones with the gold confetti in here I might keep these and use them at my daughter's birthday uh, because obviously the 80 ones are going to be hard to use for anything but an 80th. So, but I'm actually like these balloons look good. I mean, obviously until I blow them up, I'm not going to know, <laughs> you know, the quality of them and stuff. And I've never used a helium tank to blow up balloons before. So that's another reason I wanted to get a lot because I have a feeling good enough, that um, I'm probably going to pop a few. <laughs> 
that cake stick is disappointing. Okay, one more thing in here. Okay, now this was also, ugh, this was disappointing too, okay? I'll show you what I wanted, okay? What I wanted, go back, go back. What I wanted was this. Now, it did say it shipped. I wanted this. It's a three-pack, and they're, they're little signs that have different things that happened back in 80 years ago, right? Like, oh, what movies were popular back then? What people were popular back then? What blah, blah were popular? Um, but this three pack of signs said there's a chance it's not gonna arrive until after the party. And I'm like, oh. and I could get it here before, but it was gonna be like $35 in shipping. And I'm like, mm, no, we're already over budget on this party, so no. So just in case these don't come, I ordered a single. This one was uh, set to come before the party and came today, which is about a week before the party. So let's just have a peek at it. Well, see, this is nice. Like, can you see? I don't know if you can. This is like, yeah, you can. Let me get the light in there. It's a shiny cardstock. It feels laminated, but it's not. Oh, this is nice, you guys. Look, okay. So this is back in 1941, 80 years ago, happy birthday. Isn't that cool? Um, and it's got in here, famous people born in 1941, Paul Anka, Bob Dylan, uh, Buffy St. Marie, Doug Rogers, Long John Baldry, Anne Margaret, Faye Dunaway, Neil Diamond, Otis Redding, and Pierre Lalonde. Top movies, Citizen Kane. Sigfield Girl, That Hamilton Woman, The Maltese Falcon, Meet John Doe, Sergeant York, Among the Living, The Wolfman. Cool. Hit songs, Sammy K, Daddy, Artie Shaw, Stardust, The Sons of the Pioneers, Cool Water, Xavier Cougat, Perfidia, Ernest Tubb, Walking the Floor Over You, Jimmy Dorsey, I Hear a Rhapsody, Duke Ellington, Take the A Train. I don't know any of these. The world population was 2.35 billion. Wow. Like, there's some cool facts on here. So, sorry, my ceiling fan's in there. There's some cool things. So, um, I did pick up, this is like an 11 by 14. I did pick up a couple 11 by 14 frames from the dollar store. And then also some little wooden easels from the dollar store that I'm just going to plop these on kind of around the room. Um, I probably will take you guys on a journey of this party planning, um, and just kind of let you know, um, take pictures and video to show you what the room's going to look like, all that kind of stuff, things we've done, that kind of thing. Um, but I'm, I'm glad this came. This is good. I'm glad this is, I think he'll enjoy that. So yeah, party planning. Um, let go. So that's all that came from Amazon. I'm waiting a few more things from Amazon. I do have other party supplies that I purchased, which I don't have up here. I'm in the bedroom right now. So um, I will probably do another video. I'll probably tie it into this one and show you some of the other party supplies I got. Um, but yeah, so 80th birthday. How exciting. Um, hopefully it all goes well. We'll see. Um, I will let you know a couple of things about the party. So apparently, um, I'm in Canada, Saskatoon, um, to be precise, uh, Costco. I went to Costco to order, pre-order, because I'm pre-planning to avoid disappointments on the day of the party. So I went to Costco to order a cake, right? They have those really awesome slab cakes that feed like 100 people for like 20 bucks. Perfect. I went to Costco to order that, and guess what? Are you guys sitting down? I'll wait. Sit down. Find a chair. Floor works. There you go. Um, Costco doesn't do slab cakes anymore. I know. Exactly, right? Like, how is that possible? They don't. So <laughs> I left Costco empty handed. Uh, 
Who does that? Who goes into Costco and leaves with nothing? Seriously. So I'm like, okay, no problem. I'll head over to Superstore because I was going to go to Superstore to order like the fruit trays and the veggie trays, right? Because the party's just from two to four, but we still need to have little snackies, right? So I stopped into Superstore, went to get the fruit and veggie trays, and they have like this little, it's like a little... I don't know. It's like a little cooler with the fruit and veggie trays and stuff all around. And in the center is like workstations. And there's two people working in there. And one girl is like making salads and stuff. And I'm like, hi, um, I need to order some fruit and veggie trays for a party. Do you guys do that? And she's still making salads. And she's like, oh, yeah, we can we can take yeah order. Yeah. Party trays. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, OK, uh, can I order some? okay. And she's still making the salads. Like she didn't stop to go grab a clipboard or to take my order. She's just like, okay, uh, what do you need? I'm like, well, I, I was looking on online here. I said, I need one large veggie tray, one large fruit tray. Um, I see you guys have like a, a grapes and cheese tray. And she's like, oh no, that that's, that's over there. I, I don't do cheese. That's over there. And <laughs> there's a guy like six feet from her in the same area. And I don't know if she's like gesturing to him like six feet away is his department or if she means somewhere else in the store because he didn't say or do anything. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, and, and she's still making salads. She's still, and I'm like, okay. And um, what about the spinach dip? Um, I see you have little ones, but it shows here online. You have like a big party one. Do you, you guys do that? Oh no, that's, that's a different, that's over there. I don't, I don't do, I don't do that. Okay. And at this point she's still making salads. And at this point, I know even if I were to place an order, chances are she wouldn't do anything. So they were fairly stocked. And I'm like, so are these pretty stocked all the time? Like if I just come the day of the party, will there be like fruit trays and veggie trays? And she's like, oh yeah, always stocked, always full. I'm like, okay. So I left again, empty handed without placing an order for fruit and veggie trays. And I walked my little butt down to the bakery. And I go there and they have a little cooler up front, right? And then behind that is where people work. And uh, in the cooler, there was a few cakes, but not a lot. And I'm kind of standing there waiting for help, right? And there's no one coming and I'm looking and there's a girl like at the very back and she's doing something. I don't know if she was putting bread in, I don't know. And the machine was on. So I'm like, oh, she probably can't see me or hear me. So I kind of walked in their space a little, like the employee only space. And I didn't want to disturb her, right? Because I didn't want to, I don't know what she was doing. I didn't want her to like cut her hand off or whatever, right? So I'm like, hello, excuse me. Hi. And she obviously heard me. She turned the machine off and she starts walking toward me. And I'm like, hi, I just need to order a birthday cake. And she hasn't said anything yet. She's just walking toward me. She still hasn't said anything. And I'm like, do you guys still take orders for birthday cakes? And then she finally says, only for photo cakes. Oh, I can't just order a birthday cake. And she goes, no, we, we don't make them here anymore. We just order them in. Right. I'm like, that's fine. But can I place an order for one? And she goes, we only do that if it's a photo cake. And I'm like, why can't you just take my information write down what kind of cake I want when it comes in, put my name on it and I'll pick it up. <laughs> like, how hard is this? And I'm like, okay, so if I just come like the day of the party and hope that you have the cake I need, well, when's the party? Next weekend. What kind of cake do you need? Chocolate or vanilla? So I need a vanilla slab cake. Oh, there's actually a supply shortage on vanilla. What? She's like, yeah, the vanilla ones are really hard to get. Again, why I'm coming to you before the party to plan so I avoid disappointment on the day of, right? Like, I knew customer service was bad, but this is like a whole nother level bad. Like, and then she's like, um... Well, let me go see if I have any in the freezer. Okay. So she goes to the back freezer and she's like, I've only got three boxes of chocolate. I don't have any vanilla. 
And I'm like, okay, well, how often do you get deliveries? Every day. Okay. So if you get deliveries every day, when a vanilla slab cake comes in, can't you just put my name and number on it and I'll come pick it up? Oh, well, no, because of the vanilla shortage, I don't know, you know, if we're going to get one. And I'm like, for crying out loud, how hard is this? So I'm like, okay, so my choices are to either hope and pray that if I come in on the day of the party, you have one sitting there or call you every single day and ask you if you have any. And she says, oh yeah, you can call us. I'm like, do you have a direct line? She goes, oh no, you'll just call Superstore and go through the phone tree. I think we're number six, but I'm not sure. And I'm like, great. So then I left the bakery empty handed again. Like, how hard is it to take an order for things? I don't get it. Anyway, that was the kind of day I was having today. And then I went to Booster Juice this morning and they screwed up my booster juice. How do you do that? I was the only one there. Anyway, this unboxing turned into a rant. So that's how my birthday planning is going. <laughs> but that's fine. There will be more. Like I said, I will show you the other stuff I bought. Um, I'll probably get my husband to splice that into this video as well. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, if he's going to splice it in, I'll let him do it here. Hey guys, so this is the addition of the other party supplies um, that I didn't have with me at the time of filming that one. So let's go through everything I have. Now I'm still waiting on Amazon to deliver a couple things. So hopefully they come in time, but let's go through this first. So um, I went to a lot of different places for party supplies. Um, let's start with Party City. Uh, okay, so I picked up a couple... 80th happy birthday um, napkins in the small size and the big size. I also picked up from Party City the plates. So we have the small dessert plates and I also got the large other plates um, for like fruit and veg and that kind of thing. Okay, so that was all Party City. Um, I also got from Party City plastic cups. I went with just the clear cups for um, water and juice. We're planning on having water, uh, iced tea, and lemonade at the party. And I also picked up paper cups for the tea and coffee. Okay, so we got those. That was all Party City. You guys, there's so much party supplies here. I can't even tell you. Um, tongs. I picked up black and gold tongs. Again, just for serving purposes. I picked up three black and three of the gold. I picked up utensils, black and gold again. Um, we're, I don't know, we're probably expecting about 23 people. Um, but I did buy, like there's, you know, 24 in each but then you've got the three. So there's about eight in each. So I've got like enough for 32 people here. Uh, hope is that if there's any unopened packages, I can return them after the party and get a little bit of money back. So rather have too many and not need them. And then instead of run out and not have enough, right? So I got utensils. That's all party city. I also picked up curling ribbon uh, for the balloons. I didn't realize at the time <laughs> that uh, ribbon came with the balloons I ordered on Amazon. So if I'm lucky, I won't have to use these and I can return them. Um, I picked up a couple of these um, table decor. These say happy birthday on them and then they actually come with numbers that you can customize it to whatever year you want. So I could put an 80 on there if I want. I got two of these because I did order uh, table centerpieces from Amazon, which haven't come yet. So I'm hoping they do. If they don't, that's going to be sad. Um, but if they do come, I'll have plenty and I won't need these. So these I can always return if I don't use them. And then um, Party City, the other thing I got was, oh my God, oh, 
a helium tank. Here's the thing. I could have taken all these balloons to Party City to get them to inflate them for me. The problem with that is, number one, it's expensive. I don't know how much they charge. I want to say it's like a dollar a balloon. I could be wrong. Um, but I also have like 80 balloons. So even if I did take 80 balloons there for them to inflate, I would have to transport them in my car. 80 balloons inflated will not fit in my car. I'd have to make numerous trips and it's a pain in the royal. Yeah. So I thought, why not just get my own helium tank? So um, this, again, helium's not cheap, you guys. It was like $55, $54.99 for this helium tank. Now, this is the large size. They did have a small size, which I believe the small size was $35. And it says that this will inflate 47 to 50 balloons um, that are nine inches. If you go into a bigger balloon, of course, it inflates less. So 47 to 50 is what it says this tank will do. I mean, I'm not planning on doing all 80 balloons. And according to this, I can't just on one tank. So, I mean, we'll see how far it goes. But I just thought it was better to get my own helium tank. So I got that from Party City. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think that's all from Party City. I might run into more stuff. So just bear with me because, oh no, you guys, we are not done yet. We are not done. Okay. I know this seems like a lot. It's really not. Um, like I said, we have about 23 guests who have RSVP'd. Now, out of that 23 guests, 11 of them are family. So we really don't have a lot of other guests. Um, now, I did go... <laughs> I went to the dollar store and I picked up some coloring books. You're probably asking me why. Um, this is an 80th birthday. However, uh, my daughter who's six and my nieces and nephews, which is another four of them, and they range in age from, um, I don't even know, I want to say the youngest one I think might be around two. I know it sounds bad that I don't know how old that my youngest nephew is, but what's even worse, I've never actually met him. Uh, they live in, or lived in Texas, and with COVID and everything, I just haven't seen him yet. <laughs> so, um, and the oldest girl, I want to say, is around 10. I could be wrong on that, too. She might even be older than that. Um, but they have four kids. I have one. So, hence... Let's bring out the coloring books because it's an 80th birthday and the children need to be entertained. Trust me, they need to be entertained. Um, so I picked those up from the dollar store. I picked up just some poly gloves from the dollar store in case I'm going to be handling any food as I put it out on trays and whatnot. Sorry guys, this is making noise. I picked up three of these photo frames. Um, now these photo frames, which I had said earlier is for that, um, poster that came and I, I have ordered a set of three posters. So I have three frames here. I'm hoping they come in time, but I'm starting to think they won't. So that kind of sucks, but I do have frames for them if they end up showing up now, because these frames are wall frames. They don't have the little easel on the back so I can set it on something. So I went to find easels and I can't tell you how hard it was to find. Like I just want you to know the little little metal um, like plate holders or easels. They're non-existent. So I went to like four dollar stores and I couldn't find them. This is the best I could do. Uh, my friend saw these and she's like, hey, how about these? Um, so it's, <laughs> it is a little easel <laughs> back here, um, that came with a canvas, uh, for two bucks. So obviously we won't be using the canvases. I'll probably just give that to my daughter to create some wonderful artwork on, but I did pick up three of these just so I could have the easel part. So that's fine. Um, and then, um, I swear there was something else. I don't know where that is. Whatever. It's probably downstairs somewhere. Um, I also picked up pens. I also picked up a 80th birthday card. Um, and then 
I don't have it up here, but at the Dollar Tree, I actually picked up individual packs of Sugar Twin and Real Sugar and uh, Swizzle Sticks as well. Um, and yeah, that's kind of everything that I picked up so far for the party. So all in all, oh, and I forgot mm, balloon weights. I went to Canadian Tire for these because I couldn't find these anywhere again. Weird, I know. Um, but I picked these up at Canadian Tire. I got five gold and five black. Again, don't know if I'm going to use them all, but whatever I don't use, I can return to the store. So it looks like there's a lot of stuff here. Um, I know. <laughs> Um, but that's kind of all the party planning that I did. Uh, I did take a few pictures of the room we're having it in, uh, like before pictures. I will take pictures of the room once it's decorated so you guys can see. Um, trust me, I know this looks like a lot. Uh, I'm telling you, it's not. <laughs> I, I tend to go overboard with parties. Um, I was an event planner for years and you should have seen my baby shower. I know normally someone throws the shower for you. No, I did my own shower and uh, yeah, there was a lot. <laughs> so, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed uh, everything that I have gotten so far for the birthday. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I really appreciate the support. And make sure you click that notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a brand new video. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.